I'm back. What's the, the new outfit that we got? Thought we got a new one. Maybe I was saying that we get one at the next level. Welcome back, thanks. Thanks, Mia. says poison <laughs> dude I don't know what else I'm supposed to find maybe check this room Back out here. Ay, 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 ay. Nothing. <laughs> oh, shit. So this is where you sprang from. Jeez. I walked right past it. <laughs> All right, let's uh, question this guy. Association with Bishop. You ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So yeah, when Bishop is doing work for a studio, yes. When did you last see him? Yeah, I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around? Uh, we found the film. You should get your facts Fuck. straight before you come in here and start shooting off that mouth of yours. What? McAfee's that happened yesterday, we so it had first. to have been yesterday. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. You're delivering props to Jungle Drums on 8th Street? Bishop is using that old rundown wreck of a set. That place is dangerous. But it might be a good spot to hide. That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Phelps. Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? 
Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. Detectives! Johnny Goldberg, you work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you, boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We could beat that. You've had your 10 cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part. Happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen, to stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb. But polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. Got him. <laughs> oh, 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 snap. They really don't want anybody getting the fishing before they do. I'll try for the tires. Keep your foot down. Let's see him chase us now. Onto the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. Oh, Christ. And they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. <sighs> you know how to piss people off. Hey, they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight. The cafe really means business. You're behind the wheel. Fine. Where are we headed? I'm making him drive. <laughs> Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good go. mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molester. That's our job, unfortunately. They don't get to dole out the justice. Jungle drums at 5.30. I actually don't remember this case, like, at all. There's a slippery bastard now. No. God damn it! Oh, boy. Bishop, stop! LAPD! Get him, Phelps. I'll cover the exit. 11K calling KGPL, the first assistance at 8th in Francisco, the abandoned movie set. We're trying to help you, Bishop. On foot. This is Only all a bigger mistake. Wait. Wait. Stop. You don't have to do this. It's us or McCaffrey's boy. Your choice. I didn't do anything. Yeah, honestly, though, he does have a better chance with us.
sketchy. fast for a big guy. You're under arrest for the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. If you found me, then McAvee's goons will too. Oh, we need we need to get out of here. All right, but you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAvee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. Oh boy, they're coming in hot. Christ, detective, they're trying to kill me. Last chance to back the hell down. It's this way. There's no way Ooh. out of here. I thought you said you knew where you were going. We have to jump for it. McAfee doesn't make the rule. You hear me? Come on, it's this way. LSPD, you're making a big mistake. Ah! They're everywhere. Weapons on the ground. No. You have to get me out of here. Ooh, baby. Go, 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 go. <laughs> this is insanity. Get him over here. I'll cover you. Come on. The cavalry's here. Those barrels at the base of the elephant call. They're full of gasoline. Shoot them. Quickly. For the love of God. Jeez. It's so loud. Follow me. We need to get him to the car. How long do you think you can hold out? Now this 
is what I call a result. Mark Bishop, erstwhile film producer, an all-around piece of shit, catches a fast ticket to Quentin for stats rape and attempted murder. So he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy instead of sticking it to little girls. That is justice with a capital J, Detective Phelps. Felt such a reputation, I'm not going to be able to hold on to you any longer. You're getting promoted. Go on, get your new assignment. It was good working with you, son. Nice. Promote it to homicide. Phelps, Bukowski, this your work? Can I help you, detective? Sorry, Cap, didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you did. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I'm buying. <laughs> Jazz Cole. You like this place. A lot of movie people hang out here. You like Jazz Cole? The hopheads love it. Sure, I guess. Big bands and swing, I can understand, but this bebop palaver? How are you supposed to dance to that? <laughs> this is Phelps, Leroy. Be nice to him. You'll like this place. They treat you right. You like a table, Leroy? What do you think we want to do? Stand at the bar like I'll chumps? Get a table ready for you. Don't look so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cole, this is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Can you beat that? The Congo. A pleasure to meet you, Alphonse. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, she is. She has the next set. Come on, Cole. You can meet Elsa while they're fixing us a table. You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe another night, Roy. She's pretty beat up about it. Get your hands off me. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. You got a nice club here. Don't spoil it. If you will follow me, detectives. Just through the door. He was my only real friend, Harlan. We went through it all. Do you realize what he meant to me? Of course I do. You have no idea. You said it was construction work. It was an industrial accident, Elsa. How can I be held responsible? Elsa, are you going on? Louis, for God's sake, he was my best friend. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Here's someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. And why would I want to meet another fascist from the LAPD? Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands on me, and then this. Who do you think you're talking to, you oh, German shit. junkie whore? Don't you ever forget your place with me again. Do you hear me? Evening, Doc. How's business? Sanguine. Louis, help me here. I'm gonna have to give her something before her performance. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy-fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. Mr. Fix-It to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. So what about that drink, boys? Jeez. Paved with good intentions. And now 14. 17 out of 18 promoted to homicide desk reaching for reaching the apartment earlier would have meant a chance to give McAfee's goons what for oh. actions have earned you a promotion prepare for reassignment nice six months later what <laughs> big job Red lipstick murder.
down. All right, gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Clyde Rose at the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. There's a fly in here. Miss Floyd and the steely edge she brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table, and the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Your first case is the murder of a woman found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. I used to be indecisive. Now I'm not so sure. Hey, all right. Do you have the address? Hey, let me check. Ah, uh, never mind. Been all over KGPL. It's off Temple Street between Belmont and Glendale. Has that just been paid? Look about it. Making key page in the shirt. I don't need this. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Looks like he doesn't have an issue what driving his own car. Parker wants the chief's job. Word is it's either going to be him or Thad Green. So they're both clearing the decks. So where does that leave you, Galloway? Leaves me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. Jeez. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. What did he mean by the werewolf? Medallion. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the black dahlia. Are we any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads, and we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No, I don't. Ninety percent of murders are domestic, Phelps. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife, he takes it too far. It should be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, that's a one-off. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take lip from his wife. What do you think's gonna happen? It's that simple. Like I said, most of the time it is. Scene at 9 27 a.m. All right, let's see what we got here. Scoop for the examiner, Galloway. You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. They're used to it, Phelps. Move it along, guys. You got your pictures. You got your headlines. Now scram. Scram. <laughs> this is so classic. Oh, boy. Murder scene. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, snap. It's a, uh... Jeez. Hold on one second, chat. Um, I need to go open the door real quick, so I'll be right. Let's go ahead and uh, check out this case here. What Trauma, happened? Your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here. They use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. All right. Check out this. What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Has the scene been secured? She got. Trollman Houlihan saw to it. The victim's personal effects are still where they fell. Mm. 
cause of death? What do we got about the body? She has been badly stomped. Jeez. The cuts look superficial. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. It looked like a lug wrench. Most likely. I assume it was taken post mortem. Hmm. Interesting. I think that's everything. Yep. What does the writing on the victim mean? BD, like Dahlia, Tex. Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Okay. Purse. Victim's bag? Brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. Yar. Oh. Good girl. Hmm. Help me out. It's a crime scene, isn't it? Don't just stand there, take a look around. Yes. Looks like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. Clicked for a second. Oh. The Bomba Club. Why steal a table lighter? Hmm. When we get to the Bomba, man could die of thirst in a case like this. <laughs> I need to get back to his belts. This equipment is valuable and so is my time. Leave me alone. Sounds like Toby Maguire. Case objectives, investigate uh, the club. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Werewolf? For my money, copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? A big head to hang on your wall. The caller of the decade. Why is he walking through We're the street? We've been having a BD case for six months and got next. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, odd shot. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us a note in the court. He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Why isn't he getting us? A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stooping. For some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the MO and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastical. 
Well, the Examiner and the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police work. There's a reason <laughs> we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows? So, Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. You can't make it something it ain't. You understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. We will have found it. I mean, anything's possible. Bomba Club, 9.48 a.m. Man, woman, and child. You want a tip? Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, hey, blonde no hair, crying. about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? Fire away, Phelps. I'll stay here. I'm a little parched. Pour me three fingers of rye. <laughs> Say, honey, what time did you get off the waiting table? Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Oh, Christ. <laughs> sure, I know her. She and I and. Jacob, her husband. Why are you crying? She was here last night. He's about to howl. Sure, she's a regular. Oh, Selena's oh, 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 oh. was a Pour me another. lovely woman. Suspect scene with victim. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. Truth. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes. At around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. A waitress. Can I have another spoon? I didn't I think get this. This could be a great help, sir. Thank you. Give you a license plate, Celine Henry's mail. Nice. Ring stolen. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're going to tell me. Okay. I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Celine in those days. Guess I always have. Her old man never knew about it. All right. Knowledge of husband. You know the husband? Sure, I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. He put up with a load of shit. Hmm. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. Doubt. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stole the attitude, will ya? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up, asked him to come pick her up like usual. But he refused. 
as she picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but got no answer. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big right. help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. You want a tip? Refill my coffee next time, honey. Jeez. They're so mean. I think he's a bit of a gangster. Let's get out of here. Hey, what's the hurry? My stool was just starting to warm up nicely. Hey, honey, what time did you get off? Here? No good to me. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. One, two, four, seven. How could I help, detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate, two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Yep. Please. Thank you. <laughs> it's weird how like the background gets quiet. I don't mean to be rude, but I've got work to do. Okay, okay. <laughs> you waiting in the car? You yeah. know the way. You can drive. Henry residence. Fine. Where are we headed? find the booze helps you get through a working day sharp is my investigatory instincts folks. a smart <laughs> lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today a smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine as long as you're not falling over rusty i'll let it slide <laughs> that's mighty kind of you fellas you know you picked the wrong job with a healthy thirst avenger we owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position as homicide detectives that responsibility is all the more serious Always the politician. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, choir boy. Betty Short be alive, the Japs would have spared Pearl Harbor, our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. Worse than I could ever have imagined. <laughs> Phelps is such a nerd. <laughs> like, actually. Henry Residence, 10.05 a.m. He's also pretty bi bipolar. He's definitely uh, a little... Uh, strong on the authority but he's good at what he does so that's where it matters I'll try the back door wait here a second it's been like three seconds Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. Hmm. Family burnt to death. I'd say house fire deaths are suspicious. You said I had to go back, doctor. The fires are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are you taking the medication I have prescribed? You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. The circumstances were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're killing me. The deaths were unfortunate. But you have dealt with death before. I want you to come to the clinic and we can deal with You said the house would be empty. How can I find peace? 
Jeez. Good there. Key. I don't think this is going to help us. What? You don't know what the key is for. Chime, it doesn't explain sometimes, man. There we go. Jeez. Nothing significant. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. I explain the missing ring. A regular Amelia Earhart per day. The ring looks distinctive. Hmm. Optimistic Cole. Okay, so the different chimes mean it's a different... I'm just now realizing that Bidu is the one where it's something you already investigated before. The dun 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 is something you haven't. Like that. See, that one I've already done. There's one. Size nines, above average for a lady. Mm -hmm. There's the glass. Burglar used a pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming, Buster. <laughs> you sober up, you can come find me at so apartment two. Bar, obviously having problems. Huh. It speaks to motive. Crime scene evidence still weighs against it being the husband, but Jacob could give us something to go on. One of my heftas drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, fellas. I get nasty when I'm thirsty. Just consider the neighbors. This one. Try knocking one more time. Yeah, I don't think they're home. Okay. Uh, let's try the next one. Oh, there's a lady. I knew it wasn't 
safe around here anymore. LAPD, are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss? Horgan! Jennifer Horgan! <laughs> I've known Celine for more than 10 years. Our children grew up together. What's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but. But yes. Celine had been drinking. And she and poor, long suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. He stormed out and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I know. I'm afraid I need to go and, and sit down. Marital problems? Okay. Well, we should probably go chat with uh, the guy now. Let's see if he's at that apartment. Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? Jacob Henry's. Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. Jacob Henry had True. a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Uh, with my money, the broad keeps the house looking like that, so it's probably deserved it. Skipper says bring him in. Keep the hacks off the back of it. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. She kind of walked off funny. Sense, I looks pretty said sus. <laughs> True. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. Nice. The lady in red. Uh, yeah, she looks pretty sus. Yellow house, going pretty hard. sus. Follow my lead. <laughs> knock, knock. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? <laughs> Celine? Save the dramatic. Oh my for God! RKO, pal, you got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I'm you starting to think here, Blue's the imposter. Is... Take a seat, Mr. Go to Henry. Mal. <laughs> We're going to have a look around, uh, then we'll talk. Jesus. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh. All right, let's have a look around. I get even the slightest sense of mm -hmm. life risk, pal. Does this actually work? The oldest problem there is, what to do about the old lady. He'll be back in sit tight. Doesn't give me anything to go on. Kinda. If they press hard enough while originally writing so essentially he wrote on the one before and then when you do that it's kind of like revealing it right yeah okay that's what I, that's what i thought Alcoholism, illness, chunk. chunk. Not sure this means much. There's still at least one more clue. Anything else we can do with this? Mm. 
What am I missing? Maybe if we go around back. Oh, snap. Hydrate. Suspect left. Oh, left behind. <laughs> okay, Phelps, we go in hard. You follow my lead. Oh man, we have to do it again. You, Jacob? <laughs> yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder. Celine. Save the dramatic. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I love that I went off at a not so poggers moment. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> you come in here, you tell me that Celine is. Take a seat, Mr. Henry. She's... We're going to have a. Take a Around. seat, I'm Mr. Apologize. Henry. Jesus. I'm sorry. I... <sighs> All right. I get even the slightest hint that you're <laughs> 